Here's a California man who basically proves everyone has their price. He's a gambler, and betting plays a big part of his life. A good 90 percent. Brian Zembeck says he would do just about anything to win a bet. So when a friend came to him with a truly outrageous offer, he had to take him up on it. It was a bet he couldn't refuse. I was bet $100,000 I had to have breast implants as large as a girlfriend's of mine. And you did it? Yeah. You heard it right. Brian went from zero to 38C for a big payday. Now look closely as he plays a game of indoor golf you can see the shape of his bosom. So far, Brian's had his implants for three years. The bet called for him to have them for one year. So yes, he's already pocketed the 100 G's. Holy son of a man. No, my breast got my way. You say this is just too weird? Not for a gambler like Brian. You thought getting breast implants was normal? Well, it was, you know, it's money, anything to do with money to me is normal. In my world, anything we gamble at is normal. So it's like a job, an everyday job. Life is a laugh. It's full of fun. And he's definitely one of the fun people. This is the man who put Brian in a bra. New York City cosmetic surgeon Dr. Felix Schiffman. The two guys are, what else? Gambling buddies. And how funny. Guess how they arrived at payment for surgery. I said, this is my fee. And we agreed on the fee. But by the time we got finished playing back, I mean, uh, I guess, uh, he got it almost for free. Brian went under the knife, and after the surgery was over, this is what Dr. Schiffman told him. You got beautiful breasts. I just said the face could be improved now. Let's work on the face. From head to toe, Brian is just fine. At least his wife thinks so. That's right, his wife. Brian was married last year, but for a period of time before he tied the knot, Anita had no idea her husband-to-be wore a bra, too. He never let me hug him, and I was like, why? And then he was like, oh, I'm ticklish or something, you know, and he'll move away. And so how did she find out? By reading a book about wild gambling stories, which has a chapter on Brian's big bet. I started crying because I guess I was in shock. Anita got over her shock and married him anyway. Does that bother you, that his breasts are bigger than yours? No. No. No, mine looks much nicer. There's no telling what Brian's baby daughter might ask him someday about all this, but his gambling buddies, frankly, aren't impressed. I was a little underwhelmed, actually. <laughs> it's kind of a turnoff, to be honest. <laughs> On a day-to-day -day basis, Brian doesn't show off. He wears loose clothes and tight athletic shirts to hide his assets. You don't have any regrets having done this? No. No regrets at all? No. You've no. never felt humiliated that you, no. as a man, are wearing breast no. implants? No. 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 For now, so Brian has no immediate plans to remove the implants. He says the original bet has been extended to $10,000 a year for each year he keeps them. This guy may look normal to you, but he's got quite a secret lurking beneath that loose shirt. He goes to catch some rays at poolside, and that's when it hits you. The dude's got breast implants. His name is Brian Zembic, and his girlfriend, that's her on the left, admits she's a little jealous. He has a bigger breast than me. Me? I'm just stunned. So why would a man like Brian get breast implants? Well, it started out as a bet here in Las Vegas. A friend paid him $100,000 to put them in for a year. But why, a decade later, hasn't Brian taken them out? It is a normal part of my life. It, it, it really is. As sick as it is, it's normal. It's also money in the bank because Brian gets an extra 10 grand for each additional year he keeps the implants. Clearly, this guy marches to the beat of a different drummer. I kept that in mind you as he to took me us. shopping this is nice. for no, a sports no, this is bra. Nice. Can I ask um, what size you are? Um, I guess I'm like a 38. I guess like a C. Wow, maybe. okay. You would really wear this bright orange sports bra. Yeah, I don't care. What do I care? Wow. <laughs> Back home, he's just plain dad to his 13-year-old daughter, Nika. It's a little weird, obviously. So maybe the guy known as the boob man isn't a boob at all. Ta-da! 
I actually feel much more comfortable cuddling with people than I do speaking with them. They look like any ordinary couple sleeping peacefully in bed, but they're not really a couple at all. This woman is actually a professional snuggler. That's right, Jackie Samuel charges $60 an hour. In return, complete strangers can snuggle next to her in bed. Even women enjoy cuddling with Jackie. People definitely tell me that they feel calmer and more connected afterwards. The 29-year-old has started a company, The Snuggery, with the slogan, take a break, have a snuggle. I initially started with a small advertisement in the Mind, Body, Spirit section of my paper, and people started calling pretty quickly. Um, then they come in, we go over policies, make sure we're on the same page, and then they fill out paperwork and we just cuddle. Her clients range in age from 18 to 83. I think that the need for touch is a very basic and universal need, and I think that people do it because they're not getting that need met elsewhere. Some of the older clients, perhaps they lost their wife. I have some clients who travel a lot and they just want to come back and have like a consistent person they can cuddle with. Um, younger clients, maybe they're in a problematic relationship or in a break between, you know, maybe between relationships. So everybody's got their own reason. The single mom who lives near Rochester, New York, says there's absolutely no hanky-panky involved. And every client is carefully screened. The day we were there, she was going over snuggling session boundaries with a guy named John Husel. I don't like to be touched anywhere the undergarments cover, and then I would do the same for you. Jackie lights a candle and turns on soft music to create an intimate setting. Would you prefer a spoon? We'd love a spoon. Okay, great. They get into bed and cozy up next to each other. This is John's third time nuzzling with Jackie. I travel a lot and it's nice to come home and have that snuggle buddy that's always there. I think people feel calmer afterwards. I think they feel grounded. They, ha they feel more connected. Um, they have someone to talk to. In some cases, people just want to talk. But I just think it's a nice, calming, soothing thing to do. But Jackie's business is not without controversy. She's received nasty emails, some even calling her a prostitute. If you don't like to do it, don't cuddle with me. Part of what I love about what I do is that I get to meet so many interesting people who I never would have met otherwise. So I've had professors, doctors, um, business people, computer people. It's just been, and then contractors and more like real people, um, not that other people aren't real, but there's been such a wide variety. It's difficult to really say writers, musicians, it's difficult to really categorize them.